How's it going guys? This is Fabadab17 welcoming you to the 17th episode of my PES 2018 Master League with Manchester United and if you haven't clicked the like button already go and smash that like button be a part of the notification squad by subscribing and putting the notification bell on to be notified when I next upload a video and uh, yeah if you haven't seen the last episode go and check that out I highly recommend you do that and it was a massive massive episode and uh, if you've seen it, we had literally the game, Champions League game of our life against Dortmund. And uh, if it wasn't for De Gea, we would be out of the Champions League as simple as that. And once again, improving how good of a goalkeeper De Gea is. And uh, you've seen as well, we've got the Champions League draw for the next round. And we're actually facing Chelsea, so it's an all-English quarter-final tie. So if you guys are excited for this, let's smash that like button. Let's try and go for 75 likes this episode. And actually, the Chelsea game is the last game of this episode. So, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting episode. So, yeah, before we get into this, shout out to this guy and this guy. Thank you guys for supporting being part of the notification squad. But, yeah, first match against Watford away from home. Let's get into it. Let's go. And so, getting into the first game of this episode now, and we're playing against Watford. And uh, this is Watford starting 11. And uh, it's, it's not bad, but we expect to win Watford. And uh, what is literally a bit interesting is that uh, Tom Cleverley, he used to play for United, he's playing as a right mid and uh, I'm not I'm not no manager myself but I don't think Tom Cleverley should be playing as a right mid in all fairness. So yeah we've got one up on that one and uh, this is our lineup and uh, we've got a few change we've got a few changes in there. We've got um Pogba I feel like Pogba needed a rest his hours going down and his fitness is a bit low so I've changed a few players about buys in the bench as well for Lindelof for Benio's coming to the team but I still think this team is more than capable enough of winning and getting a job done and as well I gotta say Lukaku like the top goal scorers of the Premiership Lukaku's on 30 something I think it's 30 or 31 or something and uh, the next highest is actually like Harry Kane is 14 so he's literally double second place which is like absolutely ridiculous so I just got I thought I'd point that out anyway. But um, yeah, getting to the first game, we've you know we've got we got the win in the last episode against uh, Brighton, and we want to continue this uh, Premier League win streak if we can, and try and push up that table. So four above us, they keep on winning, and uh, it's quite close apart from Tottenham. So we're trying to climb the table up, and uh, you never know, we might be able to catch Tottenham. Right here's Rom. Come on, Romelu Lukaku, shoot! Oh, <laughs> rocket off the post. You literally destroyed that post. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, my days. He's the mugging us. Oh, oh, my days. De Gea has been so good for us. I really... I don't want to criticize De Gea because of how good he's been for us. But what was that, De Gea? You know what? I'm not. I'm not going to criticise him, but I'm, I, I, I want. I want another look at this because that didn't look too great. I don't think. <laughs> Let's have a look. So he, he, he does me here. To be fair to him, crosses it in. The hey, you're literally, you're literally blocking it. If you just stand there, you're going to save that. But instead, he decides to dive the opposite way to where the ball's going. What? Oh. Right. We'll just, we'll just forget about that. The hey, you've done. You know. Fair enough, you've saved us loads of time, so I'm, I'm going to let that one slide. I'll let that one slide, but what I'm not going to let slide is losing to Watford, so we need to sort this crap out right now. And this is the right way to go about it. Come on, Mkhitaryan. Mkhitaryan, yes, we're straight back in it. And uh, it happened against Brighton as well. As soon as we went 1-0 behind, we got our act together, and hopefully that's a exactly what we're doing here. Hey, 1-0, we still got another goal at least... To try and get these three points because I don't want to draw against Watford. Right, Fabinho, Draxler, Romelu. Come on, Romelu, still got it. It's still Romelu Lukaku and it's a save. How defensive is this team playing right now? Come on, uh, stop getting the blocks. We've got 15 minutes to get a winner here. No, no, save by De Gea. Oh, come on, ref. Where's the injury time? Oh, that is disappointing. Especially because their goal, we sh they should have saved it. It is disappointing. So, 1-0. And if Tottenham have got full points here, I, I do think we might be out of the league. Like, I think... Not mathematically, but... 
I think that's pretty much us. It might be us done for the league. And we might have to just go for the top four finish, a top three finish. It's disappointing result. Def really disappointing result away from home. Uh, so let's have a look at other scores now. And um, City have got beats. So that's... Why is all, why does someone always beat when I'm recording? Like, literally. But, yeah. City have got beat. Um, Liverpool, Tottenham, Drew. So, we've actually not lost ground apart from Chelsea. And I'm not sure how close Arsenal yet. And Arsenal, sorry. So, I won't say we're quite out of it yet. Because Tottenham drop point. Mo everyone's drop points apart from Chelsea and uh, Arsenal, I think. But we are still, we're in fifth position. So, we're not even in Champions League right now. So, you know, first off, we need to get that top four and then try and push on. But it was, it was disappointing, but we've got to move on from that now. We've actually, next game, we've actually got the semi-finals of the FA Cup as well. So, I think we're getting, we're getting Leicester in that. And uh, we'll have a look at the draw, but yeah, we'll get into that now. So, uh, now, like I was saying, we're in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. And uh, I'll show you guys the draw just to remind you who's playing who. Obviously, we're facing Leicester in the semis, and the other semi-finals is Manchester City versus Tottenham. So, uh, if we win this game, we'll be through to the final. I'm not sure if it's one leg or two leg. I think it's just one leg, but I'm going to just double-check now. I'll double-check now. Right, so I've just double-checked now, and it's actually one leg. So, whoever wins this match is through to the final the FA Cup, and... Uh, I think we've, uh, it's, if we get to the final FA Cup, we win this FA Cup, it'll be a massive trophy to win. And uh, we're already in the semi-finals, so this is actually a very important game for us. And we should beat Leicester, but Leicester are no pushovers. And uh, I believe we've had two very tough games against them in the league, so I know they're not going to be easy. And uh, we've actually tried to sign Jamie Vardy, but we end up going for Griezmann in the end. So we know to watch out for Jamie Vardy, and we've got Mares playing as well. But yeah, this is actually, like, if we win this, it's not win like winning the League of the Champions League, but it is, I'll be very happy if we can win the FA Cup this year. It'll be, um, I would say, if we win at least one trophy, it'll be a successful year with uh, United. So, we're going to aim to get into the final after this game. Back to Ron. Right, Valencia. Just get out wide here and cross it in, hopefully. And can get on the end it. Marshall's got on the end of it. 1-0 in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. And it, I didn't think Marshall was going to get on the end of it, but he did. And Marshall, you know, he hasn't been like one of our standout players, but he has been pretty good for us. And he's got a good uh, he's got huge potential at like this club for us. Because he's only uh, 21, I think. So, you know, he's got potential to grow into one of those superstars at United. In real life as well, I'd say. I think. Martial and Rashford have got huge potential. I know they're kind of fighting for positions right now, but in the future, I think they'll both be starting in the first team, both be key players for us, hopefully. Right, come on, Griezmann. Cut inside. I'm going to cross it. Martial again with another head in. The keeper somehow only parried that. Keeper's done a really poor job there. No, it's not, you don't, I don't even know if it's Schmeichel. It doesn't even look like Schmeichel to me. Right, here's Matic. Nemanja Matic! Oh, what a shot! Oh no, in danger here. What? Oh my days. They're this close to equalising. We're still 1 0 up. Oh no. No, that's not onside. It is onside. Like I was just saying, we need to be careful not being complacent. That's exactly like what we've done there. Samani's so nicked a header in at near post, and this semi finals is back level. Not what we really wanted. And I've uh, seen that celebration way too much now with the fans. But what do we do wrong now? I don't even know if I did anything wrong. So, uh, they get the ball here, cross it in. I don't think there's too much we did wrong there. I think fair play to him. It was a, it was a good uh, bit of play by them. Oh, here we go, Griezmann. Such a slow turn. It's still Griezmann. Go on. Oh. And that is that is half time as well. It's one all. And uh, we were looking good one all, but I knew that Leicester were probably going to come back into it. Just had a feeling. And uh, they have done. It's one all, and uh, we're in a very tough game here. And uh, yeah, it could this could even go to extra time of penalties. All right, come on. We need to find a goal in the second half now. Let's go. 
Lukaku, Draxler, back to Big Rom. Come on, Cross, come on, we need to get a goal. Come on, there, there it is. For a second, I thought the keeper had saved, but Griezmann's made it 2-1 in the semi-finals, and that, hopefully, is the goal to get us into the final of this FA Cup. Anton Griezmann, what a signing Anton Griezmann's been. He's been unbelievable for us. So worth the money. And uh, it would be a great signing if he was ever to come to United in real life as well. I'd love that. And uh, we were linked with him like all through the summer, but it didn't. It wasn't quite meant to be. So I'm hoping one day he's in a United shirt, because I'd love to see that. But yeah, in this mass league, he's killing it for us right now. 2-1, let's get the job done in this. Let's see the game out. Oh, no. Come on, clip. Clear it. Come on, clear it. Oh, no. Right, we're literally at... The time's been played, but they've got one more corner, and this literally is their last chance, I think. Just defend this corner, and we're through to the final. Come on. Literally, the injury time's been played. The keeper's up. This is it. This is it right now. Come on, clear it. Clear it. There we go. Still, they've still got the ball, though. They've still got the ball. No, 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 no. Gosh, this game is... Wait, they've blown... Was that actually blown for this one near the corner? Yes, we're through to the final of the FA Cup. We're off to Wembley. 2-1 win. And who are we going to face in the final? Is it either Tottenham or Manchester City? Imagine Manchester Derby in the FA Cup final. That'll be a big game, won't it? But we've got definitely got one final to play at least this year. And uh, it's going to be a big match for us. And uh, Let's have a look, see who we're facing now. And uh, It was a tough game. Leicester give us one hell of a tough game, as we were expecting. Who are we facing in the final of the FA Cup? Come on. We're facing Tottenham after they beat City 4-3 in extra time. So, the FA Cup final is going to be United versus Tottenham. And uh, I'm sure you guys are excited for this. I I'm excited. I think Tottenham are doing very good in the league. So Tottenham probably are the team to beat as well. And uh, I think we drew with them in the league as well. So this is going to be one hell of a final. I'm looking forward to it. But now, going from one big game to another big game. This is the biggest game. We're playing Chelsea now in the Champions League first leg. Let's get into it. So here we are now in this massive game, all English Champions League quarterfinals first leg and we're away from home the first leg. So we hopefully we can try and get a wiggle or two. And I'm going to just shut this out here now, but um, if I get to the final, and I'm not, it probably won't happen, but if I do get to the final of the Champions League, I might do a special episode just like all like on the final. So I might do like maybe show you guys the full game or maybe like loads of the highlights of the game. So, like, you know, usually you see, like, about four, five, six highlights in a game. And if, it, if I get to the Champions League final, it'll be, like, one special episode where it's just the Champions League final or something like that. Let me know, like, any thoughts you have and, like, any any ideas you've got. If you've got any better ideas than that, that if I do get to the Champions League final, I could do, for like, for a special episode. But, yeah, let's try and beat Chelsea first to get into the Champions League final. Well, this is the quarters to get into the semi-finals. And uh, this is the first leg. They've actually got Hazard on the bench. Not even on the bench, sorry, he's in the reserves. I think he's injured. And so this is our team. And uh, we know we're expecting a tough game. We know we've got a tough game in our hands here. Let's just do what we can do and try our best in this. Right, here we go. The All English Champions League quarterfinals. First leg, Stamford Bridge. Let's do this. No, oh, no, they've got a chance here. Right, it's Pedro. Well, in Luke Shaw. Here's Martial. That's oh, poor. It's poor. Chelsea playing attacking straight from the off. No. Oh, no, they've gone one up already. Ah, oh, crap. We did not want that to happen. It's Alonso. And uh, I can see from the mentality as well, they're playing attacking straight from the off. And uh, they're going for it, Chelsea. And uh, like the Dortmund game in the second leg, we've gone 1-0 behind. But we can't lose hope. It's only these two legs in this, and it's only like the first 5-10 minutes. But it's not an ideal start at all. Oh, what a save. We nearly went 2-0 behind already. We need to sort it out. No, no. Oh, what a block. 
And it's all Chelsea so far still. We just can't get anything going. Can't create any chances. And uh, it's Chelsea that are looking more likely to get another goal here. We don't want to go into the second leg being like whitewashed and having no chance. We want at least a good chance in the second leg. Oh, what a save. Saved onto the post. We just need to hang on in this at the moment. We're just all Chelsea. It's all Chelsea. We just need to hang on, keep it at 1-0 and go into the second half and change things up. Just whatever we're doing now is not working for us right now. Oh, come on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Matter. He scored against his former club, literally. I was just saying. We've had literally nothing this whole half. Absolutely nothing. And it's all been Chelsea. They could have been like 2 or 3-0 up. And somehow we snuck away going into half-time with it being level. And it's Matter against his former club. As I look at Fran and Bailly celebrating there. I think they're slightly happy about it. And so where Matter's not, he doesn't care about celebrating against his former club. He's celebrating as much as he wants. Right, so we're back in this now. We've actually got a away goal as well. This has literally just turned for the best. We'll make the run sure. Right, here we go. Here we go. We look like we've got a bit of space here. Good cross in the box. Come on. Sure, cross it in Martial. Oh, that's a super save. Oh, no. What a ball. It's Alonso. Just want to keep, try and keep it at least at one other save by De Gea. Right, it's like, I think it's about 15 minutes left, isn't it? We will definitely take a 1-1 away from home in the first leg, and we could try and finish them off at home. But, you know, this has not been a... We've, we've been pretty lucky. We've rode the luck a little bit in this game. There it is. Full time, isn't it? It's one all in the first leg of the Champions League. And you know what? I will take that. Considering in that first half, like generally, we could have been like 3-0 behind if Chelsea were a little bit more clinical. And uh, just in general as well, one all first leg away from home with the away goal is a very good result. And now hopefully in the second leg we can finish them off. All we need to do is get the win at home, which um, is definitely, definitely capable of doing that. But it's, yeah... You know, it's far from over this tie. It's far from over. Chelsea um, were a really tough team to beat. And, yeah, we will take it. It's been a great episode. Let's have a look at the other Champions League scores. But that's the stats for this game anyway. Chelsea were on top, I would say. Let's have a look at... The matter got a man of match going to his phone call. Let's have a look at the other scores now. And the Champions I actually can't remember who's facing who. Barcelona won the first leg, Juventus won the first leg, and PSG, what a match that would have been. PSG won Real Madrid 4-2. That would have been interesting. Obviously, PSG got Neymar and Mbappe now, so some great strikers there. So that is going to be it, guys, this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, all these matches near the end of the season are going to be big matches. In the next episode, we've got Liverpool at home, and then we've got the second leg of the Champions League against Chelsea. So yeah, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, put notification on to not miss any of these uh, episodes. And uh, yeah, it's near the end of the season now as well, so um, we, you know we're getting close to the, very close to seeing what's going to happen with the Champions League and the Premier League, and even the FA Cup final now in it. So things are looking promising, things are looking good. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you guys had a sick day. I'll see you guys in the next episode where. It's going to be a massive game against Chelsea. Let's just pray that we win. Hopefully, hopefully we can do this, guys. But, yeah, thank you for watching. Peace, bye-bye.